Hello Excel champions, it's William aka Dr. Excel. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Excel function indirect. Um, so I will, I'm going to give you two examples on how we can use this formula. And uh, I will give you the file, it's going to be right below the video, there's a link, so you can download it right now and follow with me with all the examples. So, uh, how do you use the function indirect? The function indirect is uh, used to construct a reference to uh, to a range or to a cell, and uh, and read what value is in that uh, is in that range. So the most simple way, for example, here if I want to go into the column C and uh, and uh, the row uh, the row four, for example, I'm going to do equal indirect of the column name and I'm going to concatenate with the row number and it's going to return C4 what's in C4 here 5 that's what we expect so column row like this um, and it's exactly the same as if I, I wrote I wrote uh, indirect of C4 in, uh, into, in, uh, in quotes like this. Um, so that's actually, I mean, we don't need indirect to use C4, but that's to show you how it works. What's interesting is we can use anything as a, as a name reference. So we don't have to name, to use uh, the reference to a cell. We can also use a name. For example, here I'm going to define this column and call it points like this. <clears throat> and now, I can re I can use um, indirect in the formula to uh, to reference this uh, this array. So, uh, for example, here I'm going to write points, um, and I can do sum of points. Um, here I'm going to do sum of, uh, if, so for example, if I just take this value here, I want to do the sum of all points. I'm going to have zero. Why? Because uh, it, it just takes the value which is it inside the inside the cell. So it sums a string and it doesn't return anything. If I want to do the sum of all points, I'm going to do sum indirect to read what's in that cell and say it's points so I want to read the value points which is going to be this column and then I'm going to make the sum it's going to return 17 so that that's interesting if somewhere you have a reference which is written to um, a reference to uh, to a name in your sheet and you want to um, to query that that field. So here I'm going to do indirect to read what's uh, what's the field which is called uh, points. Uh, if I have other columns, it could be interesting if I had a drop down here that listed all the different values that I could put. And then in the depending on the drop down, I could each time sum the value with indirect. So you can download the file right below. It's right below. There's a link so you can download and play a bit with it. And I will see you tomorrow with uh, for an, um, for another tutorial, and uh, see you tomorrow, champions. Ciao.